How's it going everyone, Jimmy here. Today I want to teach you guys how to defend yourself against tick throws by utilizing late crouch tech. I've already talked about late crouch tech in another tutorial and I highly recommend checking out that one before if you don't know what it is. So let's recap what we've already learned. We know we can utilize late crouch tech in order to defend against meaty normals and meaty throw attempts and that's incredibly useful because it's like the two most common ways your opponent is going to try to apply pressure. And as you can see, I'm covering both options with late crouch tech. So how does this help us against tick throws, you might ask yourself. And the answer to that is, well, we're just going to utilize multiple late crouch tech attempts as long as the opponent is in range for a throw. And that's how you properly use this technique. And this is how you blow up pretty much every tick throw attempt. So in addition to having the training dummy do meaty normals and meaty throws on your wake up, have them do tick throw setups. And I have three separate ones recorded here. The first one is going to do a single jab into a grab, the second one is going to do two jabs into a grab, and the third one is going to do three jabs into a grab. And as you will see, I will be able to cover all of these options with late crouch tech. So let's turn on all of these recordings and also make sure to turn off the display recording playback info, otherwise you'll know which setup is coming. And like that's the whole point of practicing late crouch tech. We don't want to know which setup is coming, but we want to utilize one technique to cover all of them. So let's get this started. Pay attention to my inputs throughout this demonstration. It's gonna be very important to uh, learn a certain rhythm for late crouch tech in order to defend against this one properly. As you can see, it doesn't matter how many jabs are incoming, I'm properly defending against everything. And it's the same technique that I'm utilizing here. So yeah, I think this is a good demonstration already. If you want to learn how to properly use late crouch tech in this way, I really recommend setting up the training dummy exactly the way I just did. As you can see, late crouch tech is not just used in the knockdown situation. It's used whenever the opponent is in a range to grab you. And if you learn how to properly use this multiple times in a row, it'll help your defense tremendously. So that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So guys, thanks a lot for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.